Hello everybody, welcome back to part three of the game game one um demo where it's the Jets versus the Colts. I'm playing as a Jet and here we're gonna see me run a bit with Smith and I gain a yeah, I get to twenty yeah, 21. That's usually around what I get when I run. But, um, yeah, if you don't know what happened or if you didn't see the last video, basically the Colts, they scored two touchdowns, which was a result. Uh, yeah, two extra points, which was a result of 14 points. And we, um, yeah, two touchdowns and then a field goal. I got a field goal in the last game, in the last part. Uh, yeah, so luckily that guy was Keller was able to get, which was good. I didn't expect him to get there for a second. And I'm using this Audible, yeah, I'm using the Audible. I'm using that because that will be a big help. If you're playing Game Flow, um, I highly don't recommend it because I tend to not um, listen to what the coach says. Because usually, I, I I just have more confident knowing what the play will be, just so I can get ready, um, for what to do. Because if you use game flow, the, your coach will pick the play, and you won't really know what to do. I mean, you'll know by pressing the right trigger. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it's better just to use um. Well, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not even using game flow. But yeah, use um conventional. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Yeah, use that. Okay, so you guys, well, I'm sure all you guys know. Just give me a little information here that you don't want to, you don't want to run like that. <laughs> yeah, you know what? He, he's right. That's not what you're looking for. And what, what I should have done is just gone right off the gut. I mean, it was three and one. I shouldn't have done that toss because that's usually what will happen. I'm pretty sure I said it in my last video, but. You'll, um, a linebacker will break free and will be able to tackle you. And Unfortunately, I think the problem is, is just, I think today. the reason that happens is just because of the play call. Keller, I'm pretty sure he was on the other side of the field. That, the, um, he, yeah, Green, he was going in to the right, and Keller, who was supposed to block the guy who tackled Green, was on the left side. So I think it's just the play itself. Or, you know, I should just move them, but, yeah, either way. That, you don't want to do that because if you go wrap right the gut, the have you'll have a much better have chance because you're, for the final you're of play. taking less time to get to the um, line where you're, so you're taking less time to get to a line where you, to your teammate left. or yeah, yeah your that teammate hikes on. the ball. It's not loose. Yeah, Anthony that makes Gonzalez sense. Um, yeah, just try to understand that. Boy, that I'm sure you, I'm sure you guys I'm can. I'm sure I explained it clearly enough. So yeah, I'm probably okay. Yeah, was that what was that blitz? I think. Um. Okay. Yeah. So I'm covering Clark, and Clark is by far the best receiver on the Colts team. I I don't know whether he's one of the best receivers in the game, but yeah, he's a very good receiver. Um. And I said this in my in my game. Um. Yeah. In another previous part, the first part I did on um game one, this one. And Clark, yeah, the the Colts are good for passing, and the Jets are good for um, running because Green is very strong, and Dallas Clark is very um, very good at catching. So yeah, luckily we're able to get them, um, make them, yeah, throw punt the ball. So that, yeah, we'll start. We'll start this. Um, we'll start this drive well the last with the ball. Time this offense had the ball. Okay. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Um. Another thing too. Um. About Black Ops. I said in my pre previous video that I'll be giving Black Ops information. I won't be doing that because I do not want to get a strike on my channel. Uh. Yeah. There. I. I there was nothing I could do really. I don't really know how to counter that. But. Yeah, as I was saying, the blit um not blitz <laughs> um Black Ops. I don't want to give any information because, as you guys know, Activision is um copywriting people who oh interception right here. Um yeah, Black Ops is uh 
like what you know, Activision's copywriting or um, people who put Black Ops stuff before the game actually comes out. So I'm not, I'm not taking any chances, any risk is, uh, any risk is, any, um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not putting my channel, I guess, at stake. Um, so yeah, because I really don't want to lose it. It's my first channel, so I will not be um, giving inf any information on it. But yeah, you can just search up in Google. Really, I mean, it's not that hard. The website is um. Yeah, the, if you just type in like Call of Duty Black Ops, um, yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops 24/7, you'll find it. Yeah, that's basically what the that's the website is. That's what the website is. But it gives you a bunch of information on it. Okay, so anyway, um, let's see, Storm Blitz, um, Pinch, Stank Pinch. Um, let's see. Oh, I did the MLB Storm Blitz. So let's see. Yeah, well, I'm pretty much. There's no way I can catch up to them. So it's pretty much just trying to get a touchdown and make them make them punt. So let's see, um, Smith, oh yeah, yeah, it's, um, yeah, switch up, um, yeah, you never want to, yeah, you never want to just little, I guess, um, hint, tip, you never want to actually, okay, yeah, yeah, they score here, unfortunately, which means they get three points, and their score goes up to 24. So yeah, um, another thing is you never want to obviously be a guy um, in the blue or yellow zone, because you're probably not going to be able to do as good as if a bot was, um, as if a, one of your teammates were able to, um, cover that area, because yeah, you'll find that a lot of, um, times there will be guys who are going into your zone or area, and a lot of times the quarterback will automatically throw to that person because you're not able to get to the guy who's going through your area, and then you'll be really angry because the score was complete and they'll score a touchdown. So yeah, I, if you guys are really looking at the screen, really um, very um, into what's going on right now, You'll see that the um, screen is pausing, or not pausing, but skipping a frame. And uh, that is not my Surveys fault, that is just the recorder itself. And yeah, okay, that was really good. Uh, but unfortunately, he wasn't able to hold the ball. But I think, what, it's like the fourth time it happened, unfortunately. But I don't know why it happens. I, I think it's just because of the, the recorder. I mean, they can't always be, um, they can't catch every frame. So I should probably throw it to LB. Um, fortunately, I threw it to Y, which is not a good thing. Cause, let's see, I'll probably do the Jets fork. No, the Jets fork or the, um, uh, okay, well, yeah, I'm doing the verticals. And this was actually very, um, this was a very good play on my part, a very good pass. And I'm able to throw it to LB, and, no, I'm, I'm able to gain, like, what, like, 30 yards? Which is very good. Very important. Um... Alright, so it's four verticals or corner strike. Um, and as I said in my last previous video, the um, Jets fork, well, that Jets fork tight of, um, wow, it's happening, skipping a lot. I don't know why. But yeah, the Jets, um, yeah, the Jets fork or that play type and the corner strike are ve very good plays. So any, any newbie, I guess, like me, I recommend those plays. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, that's, oh, yeah, okay, well, that should have been, that should have been 110, I think, there, but, oh, well, <laughs> okay, so, let's see what happens, I don't really have much to talk about, that's the reason why this commentary is pretty bad, but, um, let's see, let's see, L, L, no, okay, yeah, yeah, wow, uh, you, you think two guys on, like, one person could possibly intercept it, but, yeah, oh, well, and give your so team a chance see, on oh, I'm gonna have to punt it field goal, but it never works for me really. Oh wait, no, am I punting or what am I doing here? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm punting. Okay, yeah. Let's see what happens. It bounces out of bounds at the okay, I bounce great. So okay, big. Yeah. That um, really okay, yeah. Another tip I can say is when you're starting, yeah, you'll need it. Unfortunately. <laughs> 
Alright, so another, another tip I, I could give you guys is that never throw a um, penalty um, when you're punting in the very beginning. And this is only in the beginning, but when you throw the ball um, out of bounce, in the beginning, you don't want to do that because first off, you're going to penalty, and second, that penalty will result in the other team starting at the four yard line, which is not good at all. Um, yeah, so that's only that only counts though when you're kicking, um, not when you're kicking, but in the beginning, I'm pretty sure. So that's another tip: don't don't do that. Because I find that I found that I've done done that, and when um, the other guy the other guy just decides not to take the ball because it's gonna go out of bounds, so they start the four yard line, which is really not good. But if you're doing any other time in the game. Um, if it goes out, it won't be a penalty, which is really good for newbies like me because I, um, because, yeah, I haven't played this game in a long time, so it's over. Unfortunately, we lost, um, Rack is the swagger player of the game with five tackles, one TFL, zero sacks, and two interceptions, <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed. Look forward to more Madden videos, and stay tuned for Call of Duty Black Ops videos on release date. So I hope you enjoyed and bye, see you later.